In our last video, we completed our task. We selected a pump and found all its basic parameters. It's so easy when you know what to do and how to do it. We even found a way to calculate the required NPSH when this data is not available. But this specific speed? What exactly does it mean? To answer this question, here is our pump. Here is its suction and its discharge. When we open its casing, we can see its impeller. The impeller has different configurations depending on the flow and the head values to be supplied. In most cases, it has this configuration. It's a radial flow impeller. The water flows parallel to the axis and flows out perpendicular to the axis or radially. This kind of impeller is good for relatively small flows and relatively high heads. Hmm, relatively small sounds pretty subjective. I agree with you, we'll see a way to solve it. Let's tilt the impeller a little. Now the outflow direction is no longer radial. It's a mixed flow impeller. The water keeps flowing following the axis direction but flows out at an angle from the axis, like this. The characteristic curve changes a little. Now the flow gets greater and the head gets smaller. Let's tilt the impeller a little more. It behaves even more as a mixed flow impeller. The water keeps coming parallel to the axis, but goes out at an angle from the axis like this. The characteristic curve changes again. Now the flow keeps increasing and the head keeps getting smaller. Let's tilt the impeller completely. Now the outflow direction is no longer mixed, it's axial, but flows out parallel to the axis too. It became a propeller. The characteristic curve changes again. Now the flow is really high and the head is really small. Take a look at this diagram. It shows the variation of the specific speed with the impeller type. But to find its value, the flow must be in cubic meters per second, the head must be in meters, and the pump speed must be in RPM. When specific speed goes up to 50, we're dealing with radial flow impellers. If it's greater than 320, we're dealing with axial flow impellers. And between these values, we are dealing with mixed flow impellers. Here is an example. Consider the case in which the water flow is 30 cubic meters per hour, the head is 44 meters, and the pump speed is 1750 rpm. What will be the impeller type? Here is the specific speed formula. We substitute the values and find 9.1. It's a radial flow impeller. This will be the case in almost all our practical applications. Now another one. Consider the case in which the water flow is 1 cubic meter per second, the head is 4 meters and the pump speed is 1750 rpm. What will be the impeller type? Here is the specific speed formula. We substitute the values and find 619. It's an axial flow impeller. This will be the case in many large irrigation facilities. Now a third one. Consider the case in which the water flow is 1 cubic meter per second, the head is 44 meters and the pump speed is 1750 rpm. What will be the impeller type? Here is the specific speed formula. We substitute the values and find 102. It's a mixed flow impeller. This case is not very common in our practical applications, but it happens every once in a while. And so, we remove the subjectivity of talking about relatively high and relatively low flows by using the specific speed formula. Just be aware of using the right units when you substitute the values of Q, H and N. See you in our next video! Oh, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, comment, share and subscribe, hit the bell 
so you can be notified of my next videos.